Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down a little bit of gameplay that I already posted on this channel. If you wanna go ahead and see it live and react to it that way, more than welcome to, but I'm gonna be breaking it down with an eye tracker that is already on the screen. So that's part of the gameplay while I was playing live. And if you guys are unfamiliar with an eye tracker, it's something that sits on the bottom of my monitor, looks where my eyes are looking, and it puts a little impression on the screen, a little blue circle. I could change the color of it. If you have a preference, let me know. I could change it for future videos videos but basically what it does it kind of shows you what i'm looking at it shows you when i'm looking at the mini map when i look at the heartbeat sensor when i look at a reload when i look at my plates and my ammo my money situation when i look at how many players are left in the lobby it's literally showing what i'm looking at as close to real time as possible it's slightly delayed but for the most part it's fairly accurate and i think it's a very valuable tool to kind of show off how often you should be looking at the mini map because even for my own standards, I do not look at it enough, and I look at it once every three seconds or so. So we'll kind of look at that, and we'll explain a little bit of how helpful this is. If you enjoy the video, learn something new. If you'd like to see more of these, maybe even Verdansk or other gameplay breakdowns, let me know in the comment section below. This is a little bit of a series that I'm gonna kind of show off on some of these gameplays to kind of direct what I'm thinking in the moment um, as it's happening. So if you enjoy it, Please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new and want to find your way back, subscribe with notifications on. Um, I end up coming over here and I'm just looting. You can kind of see what the eye thing is doing it. For some, they find it distracting because they end up focusing 100% on that. But what you're really looking at is how often I'm looking at the mini map. And one of the biggest mistakes, like very like big mistakes, common, that I even see from these types of videos in the comment section is there's a lot of people saying, well, you're looking at the mini map way too much. And I even ran a poll over on Twitter and a lot of the top players were saying they look at it once every three seconds, once every five. And then there was a few people saying they look at it once every 15 and people are posting, how do you only look at it once every 15 seconds? You can see that my eyes are literally looking there every second with the UAV in the air. You can see I peaked this area. I'm looking at as I cross. I'm looting, trying to get guns I'm comfortable with because ideally you wanna be able to take gunfights that you're comfortable with. That's the whole point of the, the looting phase, at least until you get the loadout. And by the time we get this next scab, we should have enough money to clear this out. Obviously I'm playing with random, so there's not a lot of communication going on. I may be talking on occasion, you can see my mic moving or whatever, but the, the communication really isn't all that important um, as to what's going on here. So you can see that like, I'm still looting, I checked the map, and people think that you should be only looking at the mini map when you have a UAV or when there's gunfire. They think that you can see it out of your peripheral vision, no. Pretty much anyone who knows how to play COD has been playing COD since before Modern Warfare literally looks there. Look at how many times I look at the compass. I'm going to say it's pretty much zero in the entire game plan. I'm going to imagine I never look at this compass because it's worthless uh, other than saying, hey, an enemy's in this direction and giving that direction, north, south, west. But that's normally if you're shoulder to shoulder with your enemy, right? So obviously I'm focused on it. Even as I'm running down the hall, I check the minimap. I come over here, take this guy out, I take him out, and then I check the mini map again, I check the mini map again, I check the mini map again, and this is all mid-fight. Obviously, I know I'm safe as I'm coming around the corner, but I'm focused on, on that engagement. And I think this is where a lot of people struggle is they're, they're very new to COD, and, and one of the biggest dynamics within COD versus a lot of other first-person shooters is the reliance and, and information you get from looking at the mini map. This usually comes from ingrained habit of muscle memory from playing multiplayer where there's literally non-stop information by looking at the minimap you can kind of see where your teammates are normally a multiplayer you're going to look at where the spawns are if you see your teammates spawn on one side of the map that usually gives you a good indication that the enemies are going to be on the other side of the map um, and there's a lot going on so even like when i'm checking this you can see i see these guys are rotating over and i already kind of oh they're coming around so i'm trying to get in position to go ahead and get a better angle on them as they come across i end up missing my snipe just because i'm not as comfortable i hit my snipe there but I didn't get a headshot. And then as this guy comes through, I'm able to finish him off or whatever, down him. And then we finish him off at, before he goes in there. And then I look at the mini map. I'm checking the pulses. I can see the guys up on the top. You can see I peek out here. I check the edge of the window. And that's what the whole purpose of the eye tracker is. Um, so I'm obviously not going to have it in every video because some people, they said, hey, man, I have a little bit of OCD. This thing is distracting. I can't even focus on the gameplay. That's okay. This is primarily used as an informative tool to kind of show, like, I'm looking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As soon as the gunfight's over, I check the minimap. Back at the window, minimap. Back in the window, minimap. And, and people don't realize how often you should be looking at this minimap. It's just absurd. 
I know I did a, uh, I never had an eye tracker until recently. I just moved, I bought an eye tracker. I got that all set up. So this is the first time I've actually included eye tracker gameplay within my videos. And I thought I'd incorporate it and kind of just see how often I'm looking at the minimap. Because the last time I had eye tracker gameplay on my channel was back in BO4. Dismo was kind enough to let me use his gameplay because he had an eye tracker and we counted it. He was looking at the minimap like once every two seconds or once every one and a half seconds. Obviously in multiplayer, you look at it more often because of the spawns, but it kind of proves a point that you should really be looking at the minimap. And oh, see, I spotted the guy. And then when I come out, I'm able to pre-aim kind of where he was. Um, but it, it, it showed a big like desync in the community um, when Modern Warfare dropped because initially in, during the alpha or whatever, the beta, the first beta weekend, they said, oh yeah, we're not gonna have a minimap. I can see where the guy pinged. I come out, take him out. I check the minimap, check the minimap, check the minimap. I'm looking at the minimap. You know, there's always all that minimap looking. Um, and it's kind of one of those things that you kind of just get in the habit of looking at nonstop. Now, some people think they look at it too much. I don't think almost ever you could be looking at it too much. I think if you're staring at it for too long, because you can see I usually glance, 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 glance. And, and that's kind of what you want to get in the habit of doing because there's so much information there is literally telling you where enemies are, where teammates are, where you got a position, even if there's not a UAV in the air, um, especially in rebirth, it's probably even more frequent. They're going to be looking at it because every kill you get, um, you're going to get a little bit of a ping. That's going to show where the enemy is. Obviously I hear somebody nearby. I'm like, where the heck this guy go? I saw the guy as I cut across, I jump in just good timing on him. I don't think he was expecting it. Um, and then there's somebody coming out of the sky and that's kind of the, the thought process I'm doing. I'm kind of working in general area with rebirth. It's kind of like wherever you choose to land, you could work other areas of the map, but without constant UAVs, it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm just continually working this low side of the map until we end up going to the top. But you can see how much my eyes are focused on different things. I'm looking at, okay, cool. What are we going to do here? I'm paying attention to now I have to play my life because the teammate died. The other one's coming back. And I'm like, eh, I'm just going to rotate over here because I know it's safe type of thing. Uh, but you can kind of see what my eyes are doing, right? I'm going to go hang out over here. Teammates are moving that way. Kind of waiting for that fire sale too, right? Obviously, it comes at third zone every single time in Rebirth. I'm peeking the area, looking up top. So even though my crossers are here, I might actually like glance at different areas, checking the minimap, seeing what my teammates are doing. I'm like, eh, what do I want to do? I see the red dot at the edge of the map. I'm like, all right, cool. Do I see a guy there? No, I don't. And, and there's this continual process that you're thinking through. Like one of the biggest things that I have to improve on as a player is my centering is, I would say like my centering is like a five um, out of like 10 there are people that are way worse on their centering, but top level players that usually have amazing centering. And for me, I, I didn't learn to try and get better at COD until I already had like seven or eight years playing COD. Like I just played it casually, like probably you watching this video for the first time. All the time before that, you had no clue what the hell centering was. And so you had a bad habit of looking at the ground, looking too low. I know that's a problem. People sometimes comment and be like, hey bro, I don't know if you know this, but your centering is kind of bad. It's like, yeah, but it's like trying to replace. And it's one of those ones that I, I work on it for a day and then like it looks good and I start improving and then I start looking kind of low at the ground. You work on something else and you lose it. I just got to dedicate focus to that and then then maybe get back into working on trying to get better at my movement. Like obviously with the auto attack sprint has helped a lot with that, but that's a whole nother story. So I'm working this way. I'm trying to get a UAV. I know somebody's in the area. I'm like, where the hell is this guy? I don't see him. Teammate ends up taking the guy down. I'm like, where the hell did you shoot him off? The guy ends up dropping down. I finish him off for the teammate. I get the pulse. I can see the guys on the edge of the map. I pop the UAV immediately. And I can see what's kind of going on on the rotation. I'm like, ooh, these guys are not ghosted. So I'm going to go ahead and try and kill them. Um, because I know there's a team ghosted on that far side over to the left. And that's kind of the information I'm relaying. I'm like, where the heck is this guy? I thought he was up on top of the tower. This guy was like AFK gliding in or something. I ended up kind of stealing that kill from someone, whoever was shooting at him. But that allowed me to ping these other guys on the map and kind of have an idea where they're at. My teammate, he's just jumping on vehicles and driving to the other side of the map. And that's how he ends up dying towards the end. But I didn't know that while I was playing live. Um, but he's coming through. I see the two more up here. I peek it. I notice one's down. And then I notice there's another one. I'm like, oh, I can get a clean shot with the snipe. I take him out. Let me finish this guy off. I think the other guy is going to peek. Cool. I back off. I'm good. I already know him. have good cover. And I notice that the guy has ghost. 
I'm peeking back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, ooh, what's my teammate doing? I'm looking at what my teammate's doing. I go back down, I check the window, check the window, cut across, check minimap, looking where the guy is. I'm like, all right, cool. I get good timing here that I damage one while the other one peeks me. I end up taking him out. He was low health. He didn't even have plates, the second guy, which is lucky that my teammate damaged him or else I probably would have lost that. This next guy does have ghosts. He's coming around the corner. I reload and then I go ahead and take the gunfight, assuming he's coming through because uh, I don't have enough time to plate, right? But that's me kind of looking at the mini map and then addressing that scenario. And even though there wasn't like a ton of information other than knowing that my teammates were in a gunfight, I didn't know that there was three guys there. Uh, I kind of had an idea of where people were. I bought a UAV. I know where the last team is now. And I thought that that one guy that had ghosts was still up there, but he must have died um, and got third partied by the other team that they were fighting. And then now everyone doesn't have ghosts, but I'm like, ooh, we need to hurry up. And you can kind of see my process here. I go and reload, make sure the gun's good. I'm giving call outs to my teammates. I'm like, I already know what these guys are going to do. I'm going to call the UAV as soon as you get close to them. And we'll go ahead and kind of pinch because then you'll know exactly where they are. But one guy just got in a vehicle, drew all the attention towards himself. And then I'm rotating across comfortably. I don't have to like pre because there's only three other people and all three dots are on the other edge of the map. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to call this UAV in. And that's pretty much what I'm doing in this scenario. I'm looking, I call in the UAV and I see that they call in a loadout. And I'm like, oh shoot, they called in a loadout. I'm getting a reassess of the overview. I jumped down. I don't know how this guy knew exactly where I was unless it's because he killed my, I don't know how he knew exactly where I was. Like either way, I don't know. Like maybe you heard my footsteps or me falling down. I don't know. I could have been probably a little bit more aggressive to this guy. Um, I just assumed he knew exactly where I was after killing my teammate. So I was pre-aiming it. And, and this ended up taking me a little too long. I realized that the guy cut to the edge. I'm looking. I hit him a couple times. I throw a nade. He probably ended up going all the way around. And then I'm just playing my life here. I'm just pre-aiming. Like you can see where my eyes are kind of locked in here. I check the heartbeat. I see where the dots are. I check the mini map, seeing if I'm seeing anything. I'm looking at where my teammate is. And even though there's no UAV and these guys aren't going to pop up on this mini map, look at how many times I'm looking at the mini map. I'm really paying attention where they're at. All right, cool. And then I can see, all right, they're next to my teammate. And a lot of times people don't realize that you get in the habit of looking at the mini map, you're going to improve like leaps and bounds, you're going to improve. Um, and a lot of people do not realize this. And, and for the longest, when I used to do World War II videos, when my channel first started with IW and World War II, I covered a full series on the minimap multiple times. And people did not believe that you should be looking at the minimap as often as this in multiplayer with the spawn where they're way more valuable in multiplayer than it is in Warzone, let alone Rebirth. And, and you just do not understand how useful this information is. They called in the cluster. I'm looking at what's going on, looking at where my teammate is. You can see I'm focused back and forth, paying attention. I'm like, what's going on here? I get one here. I only downed him so I don't get the pulse of where the last guy was. Um, I guess I could have thirsted him. And then I jump down and I'm not sure exactly where this enemy is, but then I, I see him shooting at my teammate. And then he gave away his position. I spot him and up, you know, you know, strafing. And then I take him out. And that's kind of what's going on there. That's kind of the overall thought process of going through this. At the end of the day, like this is a one-off match that I just played. I did well in. Obviously I had other matches where maybe I had four kills. I died, whatever. My team got wiped. Obviously I don't, you don't highlight that on your main channel. It's just kind of what it is. People don't want to watch a four kill death, like a four minute video. And that's it. So you, you get good amount of kills whatever that number is. Um, and then you put that on the channel, but this gives you a good idea of what's going on in the thought process because you can see it live. So for some that think it's a distraction, I understand that. Um, especially if you're a better player, you understand why you're looking at the mini map so much. But I think for the average and below average players, it gives you kind of an idea of what's going on here. Like what the hell? They're looking at the mini map that much. I need to get in a better habit of looking at the mini map on a regular occasion to find out where people are. Just like with me trying to work on my centering, it's not going to happen overnight and it has to be a conscious effort on a regular basis. So I think it's just one of those examples. Obviously I'm going to keep working on what I need to work on, uh, but you know your own deficiencies and you just got to be real with which ones you have, whether it's your movement, your aim, your centering, your map awareness, your mini map like focus, your ability to track targets and spot targets, your, your understanding of loadouts. Like there's a lot of variables when it comes to the game, map knowledge, um, how to regain, like there's a lot of stuff. And this is just kind of like one thing. If there's other things that you'd like me to focus on and maybe give tips on that, 
Go ahead and comment that down below. Do appreciate all the support on the content. This is a little bit different. If you like it, hit the like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. That's cool. But either way, if you did enjoy the video in some way, do make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Do appreciate all the support on the content. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.